Uh, LSU 45, Florida 35, and whew, a game that was not talked about basically all week except for certain factions of the college football universe. But this, I mean, the storylines around this were pretty massive. Billy Napier, of course, the former coach at Louisiana, got basically no call at all regarding the LSU job. And LSU went out and hired big money grip, you know, Brian Kelly doing his thing, spent a ton of money, and LSU comes out with this win. Uh, it was pretty insane. Pretty insane, honestly. Uh, let's see. Do you think Tommy Reese is regretting not taking the LSU OC job instead of staying in South Bend? Well, yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can... Uh, I don't know. I, you know, that's something that I've not thought much about that, honestly. You know what? I'm going to say no. He's not regretting that. Uh, if he wanted to continue working with Brian Kelly, he would have jumped at the opportunity. I think that he wanted to have the handcuffs taken off a little bit. He wanted to be able to be a little more creative. And while that's not exactly working right now, uh, I think it could work down the line once he learns a little more about how to do this, right? So let's uh, let's continue on with this uh, LSU and Florida game. Uh, it looked early like Florida was going to be able to get this win. Um, let's look at the drives here. I mean, it for Florida, it was touchdown, touchdown. And, and same for LSU, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. It, LSU had to punt one time. Like that, it, it's nuts. Florida turned the ball over on downs three times. Uh, they had to punt twice. Like, this was a, a scoring fest. Like, <laughs> I think that's the best way to do it. Anthony Richardson, 15 out of 25 for 185 yards, one touchdown. He ran the ball nine times for 109 yards, had that long 81-yarder. Um, yeah, I mean, Florida did what they were supposed to do on offense. Uh, you look at Jalen Daniels. Uh, Jaden Daniels, man, I am going to get this right one day. Uh, he had six touchdowns in this game. Three passing, two, 23 out of 32 for uh, 349 yards and three touchdowns. And then he had 14 carries, 44 yards, three touchdowns, running the ball. And cheers to LSU for finding a way to keep this thing going. And they finally, finally, finally got Keishon Butte involved in this thing. Six receptions, 115 yards. Uh, Malik Neighbors, four receptions, 48 yards. Like, these teams are... Doing well now. Like, good things. Like, I, LSU looks like a good football team. Looking at the stats here, LSU, uh, one yardage, 528 to 395. The one yards per play, 7.5 to 6.7. They won third downs. They were 67% on third down. They won drive points, 42 to 21. Florida won the rushing battle, of course, uh, and that partly was helped because of Anthony Richardson's long 81-yarder. Um, Florida had three fourth down failures that I pointed to. This was an incredibly explosive game, and I did not foresee that happening. But I did say on the BetUS show that, you know, I wanted to take LSU, but I can't trust them. Florida's run defense was what I thought was going to be the biggest problem. This LSU wide receiver core is coming into their own. You see all the guys on this screen that had catches here. I mean, Emory did fantastic things, three catches, 24 yards. Uh, Jenkins, two catches, 67 yards. Taylor, two catches, 33 yards. This LSU team is good. Like, yeah, zone six. Daniels played his best game. This this was a fun game to watch. It was back and forth. Uh, I'm curious about the defenses. What are the defenses going to do, right? Moving forward, I'm very interested because it doesn't feel like either of them can stop anybody. Uh, like, this is – if, if you're LSU, you're hoping that you could come out the next week against a team – that's not Tennessee. That's not as uh, not not nearly as efficient, et cetera, and find a way to get some stops. And they just really didn't. Like it, they they got stops on fourth downs, but when it comes down to it, I mean, you still gave up thirty five points. Um, yeah, I think I think this is going to be a telling telling game. LSU, of course, moves to five and two, and they got everything set out in front of them. Everything. They only have one loss. Uh, in the SEC, and that is to Tennessee. So really, LSU is kind of the same as uh, Alabama right now. Just throwing it out there. Uh, <laughs> zone six. So the SEC stopped playing defense. Kind of. 
That's early what it looked like yesterday. I mean, 52 to 49 in Knoxville, and then you got 45 to 35 in Gainesville. I mean, this is bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.